Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another Generator Reacts reaction for you guys. This is Season 1, Episode 19, of course, and will not know the title until I get into the episode. Now, on my Discord, the Ben 10 channel is pretty much active, uh, pretty much daily. Generator Reacts, not so much, but some people in there are still commenting from time to time, and they were saying Episode 19, this episode is very significant, very important, pretty big episode, so I'm excited. I'm excited for this. Now look, I love Generator X, okay? It was like the Ben 10 thing where I heard about Ben 10 and I was hearing a little bit about Generator X when I was getting into Ben 10. That was like one of the shows I don't think I ever heard of at all Generator X until the Ben 10 stuff started up. And now I love what Generator X is doing. I love the fact that it's created by the same team, of course, who created the Ben 10 franchise, but I like the fact that there are unique things they're doing with it to make it different, obviously with the Evos and everything and all that, but still they're making some other character choices and differences to have it separate so it's not seen as a kind of clone of ben 10 so i'm really appreciating the storytelling now we'll see what happens here last week's episode was pretty insane in terms of the whole plague thing in terms of everyone falling asleep and all that it was really cool seeing the white knight well he's called it's white knight but seeing him out and about which is crazy and the fact that he's he has no connections like he has no nanites in his system at all he's the only person apparently on earth or whatever that has no nanites it's just kind of crazy so i was like huh learning some more information about white knight because it's like we, we don't we don't really know much about him besides the fact that he runs providence so no idea but anyways guys let's dive into it let's see what this episode's all about i'm really curious i'm, I'm seeing let's see what's gonna happen here so let's dive in guys let's check it out let's go pick a side and you don't look back i believe that now and i believed it then what gets you in trouble? The city will fall just as Kiev. Oh my god. I knew it. Is this when it first started? Save some for me, partner. No. What the fuck? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Party. Interesting. It is the anniversary of his new life here. He deserves a celebration. He's Rex? Okay. There's a question mark. They don't know how old he is. You should be celebrating too Oh my god. The origin. I for one feel safe. They got Bobo. So green man. We made again. What? Not even a smile? This is crazy, dude. Oh, by the Sing way, this. Happy and birthday. Yeah. I'm getting tired of all this fighting. Mm. Did you see how many there are now? Are we gonna cage the whole world? Who says we're gonna cage them all? I mean, he just said that. Like, what if we do it? Dr. Holiday, prepare for disassembly. Ooh. What are they trying to do? Same exact data as last time. Only through molecular dissection will we find a way to expunge this threat. Jesus. The committee agrees with me. Evo? Exponentially variegated mm. organism. A little more scientific than spoiled meat. But with the right type of research, there is no reason that they couldn't be programmed to stop or reverse the process. Wait a minute. It appears to be biomechanical. I yeah, that's what I was thinking. Look at this one. One for the trophy kegs. I mean, that's done nothing. We may get more out of this one if we bring it in alive. That's more like it. It's fucking. This is Rex. This has to be Rex. Oh my god. Help. Oh my god. Oh my god. It is Rex. Oh my god. Is that Dude. Sort of for real? When the creature blew, it released some sort of EM pulse. Friday yeah. Electronic. This area is a dead zone. Except for my name? That's about all I do remember. No fail. The memory thing. Mm. Not exactly the angel I was hoping for. You're in shock. <laughs> we should find a place to hold you up until I can get some help. What did this? Don't worry. We evacuated this zone. We'll get you home. Interesting design. Okay, yeah, run. What's he gonna do? Ooh! He cured him. Cured the person. Oh my gosh. He's in shock. I don't know where they keep the jet plane. Oh shit. Oh no. He 
He's with me. I found him out in the field. There's something I wanted to show. Ouch! Ah! Let me see your medical license. Six <laughs> nurses who could have easily handled this. Show her. Mm-hmm. What is he? Mm-hmm. How? Meet Rex. The cure. This changes everything. It sure does. This is crazy. But I need to get to work on him straight away. Trust me. Not everyone will feel the same way about working with an Evo. With That's true. Well. Something I should know? Mm. Just the day at the office. Eat. Oh, shit. You can trust me. Prepare for disassembly. Wait a Eat minute. Away. I'm not going to allow my partner to risk his career. He can already cure them. I've seen it. So what? We train him? Make him one of us? Ooh. <laughs> One of us. Okay, this is definitely not normal. If he powers up, he'll destroy us all. No. <clears throat> They're gonna fucking fight. Holy shit. I can't believe they locked her up. Oh, with him. All, blocking all the bullets, man. He's so good. <laughs> he can't win. Oh, ooh. Oh my god. Never mind. Ugh. Damn. Kicking the shit out of him. Fuck. Thanks for talking some sense into him, Doc. We're all going to burn. Wow. He doesn't remember again. Maybe you were right. Mm. Okay. How's the training? Mm. The committee's happy. Well, that's good. Your new partner may just be the best thing this operation could have asked for. Now the only pure human left in the world. And the perfect poster Damn. boy to run this operation. Happy birthday. From you? Wow. Six, thank you. It's called a Tonto, Bushido's symbol of loyalty. It means whether for good or ill. Thank you, cut through holidays, chocolate cake. Anything's possible. <clears throat> yeah, this was a big episode for sure, 100%. Oh my gosh. The origin, basically the startup, if you will, of Providence. And then how Rex came into the picture and how everything changed because Six and White Knight, before he was White Knight, really, they were partners and they were going around and, and they we've seen a, a number of flashbacks, pretty significant flashbacks as well. Basically, the start of it, and I think we saw the explosion at the very beginning of the Nanite explosion. And so we see where there's police trying to take on this kind of spider Evo and then here comes Six and then here comes White Knight. And they take the Evo or whatever, and we see the, we see the kind of installation, the building of the Providence kind of tower that we keep seeing throughout the show, and it was really interesting to see that, because see, White Knight, he doesn't look like himself, he's younger, and, but he still has that mindset that he ends up, you know, revealing in the last episode, in terms of like, you know, I'm 100% Nanite free, and all this kind of stuff, and all Evos are evil, no matter what, like, he, he hates Rex, now we kind of see why, because everything changed because of Rex, so six meets holiday who was just an assistant at the time and her whole thing was because they were doing tests because there was just another other doctor kind of character scientist that was doing experiments but like basically evaporating the evos to kind of do tests to see certain things and holiday's whole point is like there's there has to be another way instead of killing them or doing this to kind of you know do our research to figure out how is there a way to possibly like what what what, what, what can we learn but can came talk what can we learn and is there a cure? And so Six starts thinking, well, maybe there is another way because he doesn't think the same way as everyone else in Providence, including his partner, White Knight. He doesn't think the same. So that little interaction with him for the first time and him seeing Evo on her clipboard or whatever, like that changed, I think, things in terms of their dynamic, which they still haven't really fully answered. I think they have a romantic thing or they did have a romantic thing at one point. But still... Um, He's thinking, okay, we need to take this Evo in, which is a giant robot, which I started to notice. I'm like, that doesn't look like a normal Evo, and they're hiding it in the dark and everything. And then once you see the fist fly out, 
it's clear as day it was Rex because we had heard episodes ago way like way back not really way back but a number of episodes back that Rex didn't remember his friends when he ran into them all these years later because he has these mind wipes and he, it happened to him twice in this episode he doesn't remember what happened after he got shot out from the, the like the hand of the robot and he was the robot he was that giant robot who lost control and then he loses his mind he and he remembers his name and then he sees uh six and that's the first thing he really remembers now at during that time in the flashback and rex was like okay i don't know what to do with this kid and then he sees him cure an evo and that changed things again and i love the fact that how they actually approached it because i think having six see rex do this i think it made it better at least for me as a viewer because six has always been a guy who's been very cold standoffish he does give good advice and has good points throughout the show and you can tell there's something with rex now you even understand more of that it's not so much he's cold and standoffish like he's still trying to approach this because he's obviously being careful but he trusts his rex i mean he, he literally put everything on the line because of him because he saw that he could cure evos and then took him straight to holiday right away and I love the fact that how they handled that because now you see Rex, like Rex and Six more so has more of a connection to him because he realizes, okay, he is a dangerous threat like Rex is, but there's something with him. And the fact is, too, he is an Evo, but he's not a normal Evo like everyone else that we've been running to all these like monsters and everything. So it's very different. And he's the third option. He's literally the option now, the cure, because they do at times kill Evos or whatever, but there are a lot of times Rex tries to cure. And of course, we've found uncurables and all that kind of stuff. Uh, in terms of evos but still i like how they handled it and so of course they take rex and they're going to do some operations and everything and, he, and his whole like body his evo side is fighting back and then unfortunately with the abort mission and everything and they t pull rex out and then white knight chooses to throw six out of the chamber and then he goes through this whole process now he is 100 percent nanite free he has no nanites in his system and now he's basically secluded and locked in a room we don't even know where the room is but he's now secluded in there, and that's his thing. But he's always had the mindset that he's the true person that can be trusted, and basically he can only trust himself out of everybody else, because at any point, someone can turn into an Evo, no matter who they are, because everyone's affected with nanites except for him. So I think they did a pretty good job of giving us more information with the flashbacks and everything, and then also coinciding it with his birthday, like Rex's birthday party, because that's when essentially they found him or whatever and this is the anniversary this is his birthday like we just picked it away like so they don't even know exactly how old he is i'm assuming like 15 16 i'm guessing i'm not 100 sure we also got to see which i wasn't expecting because i was really like enamored with everything else was kind of happening in terms of kind of the introduction of rex like years ago and their memory loss and everything of course goes the memory loss again when they try to do those experiments on him and he shuts down the system or whatever and pretty much saves white knight's life i think because i think he would have died if he had not shut it down but still so the fact is that we got to see bobo is kind of origin in a sense in the providence because he was being captured i guess he's been captured several different times or whatever the kind of the implication he was found here this time or whatever like implying they've caught him before and he always finds a way to break out it seems because he's very smart but then he's just there now. He's just kind of there because Dr. Holiday needed it out and he helped her get out of the cage or whatever. And then there you go. So I wish maybe there was a little bit more information in terms of why he decided to stick around and be helpful to the whole Providence thing going against Evos. But at the same time, there was a lot more stuff going on. I can get it. But this was fun. This is really cool. I mean, like just seeing the fact that that's how Rex got incorporated into Providence and he's the one who saved White Knight's life and the fact that he is literally he changed everything for Providence because they literally were just killing on the field or taking them back and then basically disintegrating them exploding with you know electricity and light and all this kind of stuff because they're trying to learn you know and Holiday had every right to fight back against that because that was not what she wanted like there has to be another option and she was correct 100% so I think the ending as well was also significant because it also goes to show more of Six's um, thought process and his kind of connection to Rex because, of course, he found him and everything and all that, um, is that he gives him that other blade that's the twin to the one he has, and now they both have that. And I think that was really nice because it shows that Six, you know, he is, like I said, like I was saying, standoffish, cold, but at the same time, that's not that's just who he is as a person but he does have connections he does care for rex he does care of course for holiday as well 
um, Six is a really interesting character, but I'm glad that we got to see more of that, uh, more of like a different side to him a bit in this episode in terms of the astonishment of like Rex carrying the Evo and then everything. Like he changed his whole thought process in terms of what Providence could be. So yeah, White Knight's running the show, but not really because he's not leaving his place. Now, he did leave with that robot, so he can technically leave, but it's a giant risk. And he only did it because everyone else is pretty much out. Like he was the only one not affected. And Rex, of course, was, you know, getting tired and shit, but because being up all the time, he has been in that episode Plague last week, but still. So he's probably not going to leave that much in terms of his secluded office area, which is like, okay, is there a bed there? Is like, like I don't know, because all we see is like the desk. So I don't know. Is he, is he constantly awake all the time? I doubt it. I don't know. No idea. But anyways, guys, I had a good time with this episode. You guys were correct. You were letting me know in my Discord that this was a big episode because it was. It was significant. We got to see the fact that Rex was a gigantic. He was a different Evo than all the other ones because we've been seeing throughout this whole entire series these giant Evos that are like, you know, spider or just like these, like, amalgamation of different like looking entities i mean the, the opening pilot had that gigantic like i don't know like burnt kind of looking evo the gray whatever the gigantic one that we that at the time was the biggest i think we've won we've seen so far at the time in the pilot in the opening but now we get to see it, it was kind of hidden in the shadows but it was a robotic evo and it was rex now what caused him to lose his mind like that's the question we always keep thinking of is at least I keep thinking about it from time to time, and now more so I'll keep thinking about it. What triggered Rex to lose control, to him turn into the giant Evo? Like, what exactly was it? Don't know. And that's one of those things that they hopefully can find out and not trigger him. I don't know. Maybe it's like a complete overhaul of emotion or something, or, or maybe just something happens with the Evo, in the, nan the Evo, the nanites in him, and it just completely just flips and he just loses control i don't know but um it's dangerous because we saw how dangerous he was for that little bit so who knows if it was to happen again now that he's older how much worse it could get i don't know but anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm curious to know your thoughts about this episode of Generator x guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below i will talk to you guys soon peace out